today I'll be showing you how to export your Minecraft worlds from the applications directory into the external directory. This is a very simple tutorial. This will work on any Android device currently and works with the latest version of Minecraft. Um, this also works on Android 11. I have tested out on another device. I am running Android 9 on this Galaxy S8 currently, but this does work on Android 11. Um, just follow this video thoroughly and you should be good to go. First things first, what you're going to want to do is go into the Play Store. And you do not need root for this method. You just want to search Speed Software Explorer and it should be the free one, the very first one, and then install that. So what you want to do now is prep Minecraft. So do that by opening up Minecraft. And then you're going to want to go into your settings. And any world that you have in your application will still be there. You just won't see it for the time being. Um, so you want to go and scroll down until you see profile and then switch your file storage location to external. Cl click OK and then click play and you will see recover worlds and that doesn't mean your application worlds are gone. They're just hidden for right now. So I'm just going to create a test world so you can see that this is an external world and I'm not uh, playing around when transferring over the world from the application that I uh, application world that I had created. So I'm just going to click create. And what this is doing is it's creating folders and files within the external directory. So then you can put the file that we're going to download next into those directories. So once that is created, you want to just click on save and quit. And then, so this is the external world. I don't need that anymore, but I'm just going to leave it. You want to go to your settings and then go to profile and then switch back to application. And then once you do that, you can click on play. And here's that application world I told you about that I created and was hidden. So now the external world is hidden, but we don't care about that. We want to get these application worlds out of the application directory and into an external directory. So once you do that, you're just gonna want to close out of Minecraft completely. And then you're gonna wanna go into your browser. And then you're gonna go to this website, which will be linked in the description below. And then you're gonna click on download for Minecraft Bedrock Edition. So click on that and then download. I've already downloaded it, so I'm not gonna download it again. Uh, once you do that, don't click on open just yet. You want to go into your Explorer application that you downloaded. And then you're going to want to, um, when you first open this application, it's going to say allow or deny. You want to click on allow for your file storage uh, permissions. After doing that, if your phone downloaded it to an SD card, you want to click on the three tab bars at the top, click home. And then you want to click on the two dot folder again. and one more time. And then you're going to be brought to some letters and numbers. It may even say uh, your SD card makers or manufacturers name on there. But here's my SD card. And if I had saved it to the SD card, it would be in the downloads folder. But mine did save it to the internal storage, which would just be in the tab and then home and then click download. So here is the MC pack that we just downloaded for the mobile export. You want to click on it or hold on it and then click copy or you can move it and then click on your three dots again, click home and then scroll down until you see Android data. Scroll down until you see com.mojang.minecraft.pe. Click on files, click games click com.mojang and then scroll down until you see uh, resource packs. So take that uh, file that we just copied and then click on resource packs and then you want to paste it here. So I've already done that. Uh, once that is copied over, you just want to 
close out of Explorer, and then open up Minecraft again. Let it fully load up. And then you wanna click on settings. Scroll down until you see global resources. Click on my packs and then click on mobile export. If this does not show up the first time, um, then what you wanna do is go back to that directory, delete that copied file and then recopy it over. And then it should um, do this. Now make sure your Minecraft is completely closed um, and not in the multitasking bar. So once you click on mobile export, you wanna click on activate and then it should be in your active packs now. Scroll up and then click on profile and verify that your file storage location is application. And then go back and then click on play. And here's my application world. Click on the edit button and then scroll all the way down until you see a new option called export world. Now sometimes this may not show up the first time around. You may need to restart your Minecraft. Um, the first time I did this method, I had to do this, th this process twice for it to finally show up and actually work. But once you get it working, you want to then click on Export World. Once you click on Export World, it'll be, you'll be brought to this screen. This is another file explorer, which you don't have to worry about. But leave the name the way it is, even if it's .mcworld. Make sure you save it to wherever Minecraft brings you after you click on Export World. So click Save. And in my case, this did save it to the internal storage. So you want to wait till you see World Export finish successfully. You want to leave Minecraft open in the background for right now. Go to your Explorer application and click the Home again. And then go to that place it's most likely the downloads folder where you had saved that world. You wanna hold on it, click copy, and you can copy this wherever you want. If you wanna copy it over to another device, you can do that however you want using Google Drive or whatever, or you can save it somewhere on your SD card in the phone or in another location. But if you just wanna move this to external, you just wanna copy that and then go over to home, Android, data, Scroll down until you see com.mojang.minecraft.pe, files, games, com.mojang, and then Minecraft Worlds. And now paste that. And once you paste it there, you want to click on it now. And it will open it up from that directory. And then you want to wait for it to say world import finished successfully. Now this application world will still be in the application because I haven't deleted it yet from there. But once you delete it from there, this will always stay in the external until you delete it from the external. So what you wanna do now is just click on application world or whatever that world was and verify that it actually works. So I will show you that it does work here. So there you go. And that is how you can take a world from the application folder or a directory that is hidden um, within Android and move it over to an external directory, which you can see and you can save that world or put it over to another device um, if you so choose. So that is basically it for this tutorial. Uh, let me know if you had any hardships or if it didn't work for you. This did take a couple tries for me to finally get it working and for it to be permanent. Uh, stay tuned for an iOS video, which I will show you exactly how to do this on iOS, also importing worlds. Um, so that is it for this tutorial. Thank you guys for watching. And if you have any comments, questions, or concerns, please leave them in the comment section below. All the links will be in the description box below, and I'll see you next time.